I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 295, where I'm going to show you how to average summary item but ignore zeros. This is a question sent in to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com, and I'd like to thank the person that sent it to me because it makes my day when I hear from the Quantrix community and they want my help because I am here to help you. So I really do hope that you'll ask me any question about Quantrix, and I will try to answer it here on the podcast. This person has a matrix, and what they want to do is they want to calculate the average of each of these items across the category of A within the summary item, okay? But uh, what they want to ignore is they want to ignore zeros. So they don't want that to be part of the average calculation. So if we were to insert a summary item here for average of year, how I do that again is simply by clicking, right-clicking on the category and inserting summary and selecting average. What happens then is it goes ahead and adds a new item, and it gives me this average summary of year as shown. And if I were to take the summary of or the average of these values, 13, 7, 21, 304 is what I'm getting. Uh, that is what I'm showing here. If I were to consider also the blank cells, again, I get the same average. So it appears to work when the cells are blank, it ignores them. But when, they're, when it has zeros, it doesn't ignore them. So for example here, these years from 8 to 15 or 8 to 16 all have values. If I take the average of that, it's 982. But here it's 803. That's because there's zeros here. And so if I consider those zeros, it's 803995. So again, how can I get the average and ignore the zeros? Well, what I would do is I would simply say average of year is equal to the average function, and I would do a select S. And the reason why I do a select S is because it allows you to have a condition within it. So it's a it's very similar to a select statement, but it has a condition. And my value range that I want to return back are the values across the category year, and the test range are actually the values found across the category year. And my condition is does not equal does not equal zero. So in order for the does not equal syntax, I need to put that in double quotes like shown, and then throw an ampersand in here with a zero, okay, uh, for my condition. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close my arguments there of my functions, and you'll see, well, this is involved in one or, one or more circular references. That's never fun. Because this item is part of the category year, and I'm telling it to go out and look at year, that is why I get my circular reference. So what I need to employ here is I need to wrap this in the summary function, okay? And what the summary function does is it goes out and tells it to ignore itself, if you will. So if I were to then take the sum of these guys again, or the average of them, I get 13,721 down in my corner, and that is what I'm seeing here. If I were to take the average of these guys, again, I want to average just those cells that have values. I now get 982,660 versus what I was getting before, before when I would had the zeros in there, which was 803,995. So it looks like it's working beautifully. Again, I'm using the summary function. I'm wrapping I'm <clears throat> it in cases average and the select s with some criteria being employed using the select s. So that's how I would get an average uh, summary item, not by using the auto-generated formula, but by using a select s function within Quantrix. If you have any questions about summary items, averages, how to do anything in Quantrix. Seriously, I hope that you'll ask me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I really love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.
Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.